Hank, can you sit here? I want to I make sure that if I sit there, I'm close to it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Come on. Yeah, I wish I would knock off. Yeah, knock off. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Like, you wouldn't come, like, you wouldn't rush it. No. Because they're learning a little late. It was supposed to be another person. Mm. But they had, a, like, a, some kind of a contest or something at school. Mm. And they're running a bit late. It's okay. So, first, we need to talk about the, 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 the premise of the discussion. Mm. Uh, I think this discussion should be academic based on theories mm -hmm. and based on some of the general facts that we have to observe from the society, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And not to target at specific people or using, mm -hmm. we can use real life example, but we have to make it like a... Like we have to, we, we cannot um, show our own emotion. Not, not showing emotion, but you have to... You can, but don't it. name people. Or, yeah, don't, don't use names. Or name. brands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't say any brands yeah. or people's <laughs> names. Yes, that's true. And then well, we have to keep it. Now. You can talk about food shops or big business, but don't mention specific names yeah. of food shops. Or you, we can actually business. talk about like some of the things that we that we see in in classrooms or at schools mm. in a general way. Like yeah. generally, this is what I this is what I've been. No names of schools. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely no names of schools. <laughs> yeah. You get in trouble. And do not say that. Do not say that. My history teacher or my some don't don't say it. Like, don't, don't do no. that, yeah? No, try not to do that. Yeah, but you can say that my, one of my teachers told me that because you're actually, you actually interview some of the teachers, you can say that that's what he or she said. Hmm. It'll be okay. But when we, especially for, with, with negative examples, hmm. don't use names. Yeah, just say, sometimes teachers. Yeah, like that. Yeah. In a general don't, way. Don't say what teachers. Like, we, we, there's no Chinese need, actually. Yeah, 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 don't, yeah, don't do that. You can just say some teachers said, or some teachers, or mm. this, this is what I saw in some of the schools, something like that. Sometimes teachers do this, or sometimes teachers yeah. like to do that, not that teacher from my school. Yeah, yeah. Like in a pro present it in a professional way. Mm. Okay, so Quinta, I'm going to do the start. Because I'm sitting Nah, man, I saw, I, saw, I saw your last video, it's really cool. <laughs> like 45 times to do that again it's okay it's okay mm -hmm. like this is the this is the third episode of the video i think we should and we're gonna do this is the <laughs> i think we should that off no it's not a, he's not a member he's not a regular yeah, member. it should be a special it education it could be a special episode Service-based industry means that the industry, what makes it an industry, is it is all about service. Mm -hmm. So, when people have cleaners come and do all the cleaning, that's mm -hmm. a service. The mm -hmm. cleaners are providing a service. So What's cleaning, clean? yeah, it's a service. You pay them for their service. So, but it's a service-based, like, that's what it is. It's mm -hmm. a service-based industry. Same as um, teaching, like schools. Mm -hmm. Okay, you pay for people to teach you. And so they are providing a service to you. Mm -hmm. Your parents pay them. They are providing the service. And the school is the industry. Mm -hmm. You kind of get it? It's actually pretty hard to explain that one. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Mm. So is it a, uh, like, is, a, is it a kind of um, thing in reality? Or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Many, thi many things, <laughs> many things, everything around you mm -hmm. is an industry of some sort. Because industries exist to make money. Mm -hmm. Everything exists to make money. And when it's a service base, it's the same. Like a transport company, they provide the service of the bus and the train that'll take you from here to here. But you pay them some money to do it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it exists everywhere. So 
when you think about it, everything is really a service. Mm-hmm. Pretty much everything you would you would think of as a service. Because you pay for it. You're paying for someone to do something for you. Mm-hmm. So, what's another really easy example? Mm. Do you think education is a service industry? I think it is. I think it. it all right, here's a really good example. I come from here, right? Australia. I come from Australia. In the 1970s, which is a long time ago, uh-huh. we had a prime minister, mm-hmm. and it was free to go to university. Free mm-hmm. for everyone. Like free. Free, free, free. free, free. No like, money. Without money. No money, Melchin. But in how, like? So people could go to university for free. But do they have the food? Is the food? Um... No, they they would still buy their own food. But in terms of getting taught at the university, mm-hmm. they did not have to pay for it. Mm-hmm. So then, the service is free. See, with service, there's normally a cost. Mm-hmm. If there's not a cost, it's a very different type of service. It's it's not an industry to make money. Mm-hmm. It's a free service. There's mm-hmm. not many free services when you think about it. What do you get in life for free <laughs> these days? I... Have a think about it. Anywhere you go, anything you do, except for what your parents do, what do you get for free? Well, actually, there's a famous thing on the internet that if you get something free, you have to know that you're the product. Yeah. <laughs> like all the apps that you get from the Google Store, they're free because you are the product. They they're free because us. they collect all of your browsing information. Yes. They gather information like that gets sold to to marketing companies on a database. Yes, like like right now, Taiwan Taiwan's department store like like to. Um, select all your information Absolutely. and they can know like yeah. what kind of... Um, You'll get an app. It's the same as when you go on Safari or Google. Mm-hmm. Okay, you don't have to pay money to use the browser. But what they do is collect cookies. Yes. They're called cookies in English. And what that cookie does is, is collect right? information um, about everywhere and every page you've ever been. And then maybe once a month, they send all that information that they've collected mm-hmm. to marketing companies yeah. so who pay for that information. So they that because then they know what you like. Mm-hmm. They know where you go, what you like, what you think. Well, that's why they know you very well. They know you better than sometimes like <laughs> a good friend. What is cookie? A cookie is just. It's like a. It's just a place where they store information on your computer. Like they'll say, you can use this for free, but we will put, um, let's call it a little storage thing. They say, we'll put a little storage thing on your computer. And everyone just goes, ah, don't worry about it. This clicks yes, right? And then we don't even think about it. But what they are doing is they're collecting all the information. So let's say you go and look at um, Nike shoes, Mm -hmm. and you you look at Nike shoes, Mm -hmm. and let's say that you look at, um, I don't know, maybe you wanna go skateboarding, or you want to play baseball, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They collect all that information about you, Mm -hmm. and then suddenly in your email folder, you'll start getting emails. Emails yes. from skateboard companies. Yes, it's like and it's, you it's think worthy. What, like, and you think, why? How do they know that I like skateboarding? How do they know that I like Nike? It's because they collect information and that is sold to people who sell information. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them are actually based in the Philippines. The Philippines has. In the Philippines, you know where that is? Mm-hmm. They do not pay people a lot of money. It's called a third world country. Mm-hmm. And because they don't pay them much money, they're used a lot yeah. for data collection. 
like information collecting. Mm -hmm. So they'll collect all this information and they'll go, okay, Quinton likes doing this and this and this and this and this. Mm -hmm. Hank likes doing this and this and this and this. And James likes doing this and this and this and this. We didn't volunteer, we didn't tell them this. But they can they, we just know. they know just from what we've used on the computer. But I think there's another problem because like um, every time when you are trying to download an app mm. and then it will tell you like what will, they will do but yeah. actually um, people like me, mm. we just skip it. Everyone skips it, yes. because, not just because, you. Because we, we don't want to like spend time of reading the things. On Normally, the app will say something like this, yes. right? And then at the bottom, it the writing skip. will get about this big and it will be about four pages long at the bottom. And you need a magnifying glass to read it. In English, we call that the fine print, which is actually really tiny writing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where it says, we're gonna collect everything about you <laughs> and sell it to marketing companies and you're not gonna have any privacy. But all of this, it says, the app is great, it's free, <laughs> click the button. So no one reads all the little writing. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's a big problem today with like, privacy. Like what I, before I just download an app and I, and I use it, but, but it didn't really tell me that um, it, it will cost money every single month. No. So, so what it shows on is like, oh, it's absolutely free. All the good stuff, yes. right? And then, yeah. and then you just click it and then, <laughs> and it pops, like, so after that I, I just um, yeah. I just delete the app and then but it still keep costing the money and because then, it's in the fine print yes. Quentin if you go through it says all right I'll give you an example I don't like using Facebook anymore I use other apps and to talk to my family and friends because Facebook is very famous for collecting all of your information and selling it to big corporations. Just like, just like recently uh -huh. in the elections, in the US elections, it's Facebook was accused of selling every more than 20 million people's personal opinions to, to Russia. They're actually, Russia, yeah, because they believe that Russia uh -huh. interfered with the election. Like they, they tried to uh, manipulate to make sure who was going to get elected. Uh -huh. So I, the point of the story is, I don't like Facebook because I know what they do. Uh -huh. I know they collect a lot of information. Okay, when I go to try and delete Facebook, I have to look it up on Google how to do it. It's so hard to find on Facebook how to delete your account. You have to type in on Google, how do I delete my Facebook account? Mm -hmm. And it'll go step one, and it'll have about 10 different things. And even when you follow all the things, and it, it says finally you get to delete my account, it says we will delete your account but we'll keep it on hold for 31 days. So hopefully you'll say, oh no, I really need Facebook and you'll go back. They won't even just delete it straight away. So I don't even believe that they're still not collecting well, we information. They are trying to make you um, giving up to delete your Yeah, account. of course they are. Because Facebook, why should Facebook be worth so much money when it, all it is, is people who are talking to each other. Uh -huh. The only way it's worth so much money is because they collect so much information about you and people are willing to pay so much money to get that information, mm -hmm. to, to then try and make you buy products that, that they know that you like. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's about information collecting. When something's free, it's never free. It's free for a reason. Yes, it's free for a reason. Yeah, and the, the genius part of that is that people are actually giving their information to them for free, willingly mm. too. Because mm. we want 
to the, talk with our friends to kind of like a, a business aspect. Some people run like fans pages mm-hmm. or something like on Facebook. So we want the convenience and we skip. Yeah, yeah. Else. We want the convenience, but we're never clear uh, about the consequences. If we don't use the real name or something, they're still collecting your data. They still have your IP address. Yeah. Because from your computer. Because actually, they, they don't really need like. Mm-hmm. To know who you are, because they, they want the big data, so they can know like uh, what do you like. And Absolutely. Absolutely. In the past, before the internet, okay, before the internet, they used to pay people to go to these things called focus groups, where everyone would sit around, and the manager or let's say someone that works for a big company, would ask people what they like and what they don't like about products. And they would pay those people, actually give them money on the day, like give them a thousand NT and go, all right, thank you for telling us all the things you like and don't like. Mm -hmm. And so back then it was much more honest about how they got information and actually paid you for it. Mm-hmm. But now we just give it to them for free. Mm-hmm. And who knows how many databases we we're all on. Yeah, that's true. It's a very scary thought. Every time you go on your computer, every time you use your mobile phone. And that's a lot of time. Yeah. Some people spend up to 10 hours a day on their mobile phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially to the younger generation. Yeah. They are born with that. Yes. See, me and James, we, we won't use mobile phones yes. as much as you guys because do. Because one of, like, some of our classmates, they, like, there's a very um, famous app, like, called uh, Instagram. Yeah, I know Instagram, and, yeah. And we, they go crazy about it. They, yeah, they, I know. They just post every single picture they yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. And, like, when they were waiting for bus, yeah. they, they, they post a picture. Yeah. And, like, Facebook. Just like, just like today is it's the Facebook, but it's more convenient yes. to do it than Facebook. You just take a photo, yeah. bang, done. And then because one of my classmates to, today, because we are nearly to have a um, literary exam, and then we just prepare for it, so we bring a lot of books, and then she just, she just, grab, um, mm. she just take a photo of it and then just post. Yeah. So, uh, and I was thinking like, why, why do you need to post a thing like this? It's so normal. Yeah, absolutely. This is why I will never sit there and look through Instagram and go, oh, oh. you had that for breakfast. That's fantastic. Because <laughs> really, I don't care less. So that's why I choose not to be part of certain things. Mm-hmm. But the difference is, me and James, we're from a different generation, whereas I see a lot of young people they will be meeting up like we're meeting up, but instead of talking, we'll all just be sitting there like this. Yeah. Not even talking to each other. Mm-hmm. But people from mine and James's gen- generation, we prefer to talk. Actually talk face to face instead of just send your message online. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now there are many um, like people on, on YouTube is kind of making joke of this is like they they make a video of two, mm. two guys are um they meet at a place but all all they are just um just clicking the bottom yeah side. and then it's like oh yeah yes yeah, i just meet you and then yeah they're, they're just uh, near yeah. to me. we call that actually in english you call that a parody so it's actually making a joke of something that is real because mm-hmm. that's exactly what happens People go and meet each other, and they just basically, they might as well be writing, oh, hi Quinton, hi Hank, how are you? And you write back, and I read it. And then, we, and, then, and then I send you a photo, and I go, what do you think of the photo? And you go, oh, that photo's great. When really, I could just be showing you, and I could go, Hank, what do you think of this photo? And you'd have a good look at it, and you'd look me in the eye, and you'd go, yeah, I think the photo is pretty good. But the difference is now is that we're losing the personal communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
with things like Instagram, everyone thinks that by sharing these information with everyone, that you're actually communicating and having close relationships with people. But that's not, that's not true. Yes, that's not the reality. Why? Because, because I think, for me, I prefer to talk to others because mm -hmm. I think you can know the, the muscle of the face mm -hmm. and then you can know their emotions mm -hmm. or what they really think about. Absolutely. But when you are just texting by by the message, mm. you you cannot actually feel what they what they uh, no. really their emotion. They just you can't see their face, they, can you? She they just feel it's very bad. Uh, mm. Wants to that you feel it's good. Mm. So you just say, oh, it's great. Mm. Mm. When really, if you had seen their face and they're going. I'm great, <laughs> then you would understand that they're actually not great. And that's the problem. We're losing the, um, I think, you know, a big part of being a human being is being able to communicate with each other using talking. We're, we were given the ability to talk for a reason. Mm -hmm. And a, a lot of technology, all of these apps, like in Taiwan, Line is super popular. I need to use Line to talk to everyone because they, they text me. Mm -hmm. And so I'll text them back at first. Then they'll text me again. And I'll text them back again. Mm -hmm. Then they'll send me a third text and I'll go, have you got time? I just want to call you. Mm -hmm. Because I would prefer just to talk to them for 10 minutes, discuss everything we need to discuss about the day and our plans for the evening, and that's it. Done. Not beep, 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 <laughs> beep, 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 beep. But a lot of people really think that it gives their lives a lot of purpose, Think makes them feel very popular mm -hmm. if they hear their phone going beep, 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 yes. all the time. They go, oh wow, look, I've got so many messages, I'm so popular. Mm -hmm. But really, people are just doing it when they're bored. Mm -hmm. Half the time, think about a lot of the time, most of the messages, how many of them are actually have a lot of meaning in them? Like, how many of the, how, how many of the messages mean something? Or is it just chit chat? Mm -hmm. I think there is a the the worst thing is um some people is already making it a habit like mm -hmm. they they needed to um type every day or they will feel like something is wrong yeah so i think they just typing something that is meaningless mm -hmm. and they just keep that so actually i just turn off the ring ring bell of mine but, yeah but sometimes i just feel like mm, it became more peaceful without it because it's just been raining and you, you mm. and you cannot stop the feeling to to open it yeah people become addicted mm -hmm. to technology addicted addicted meaning they they feel they need they have to do, they it. Have to do it and if they don't do it it has even got so bad now that sometimes when people give up their mobile phone they have to go away for a week to, and it's called a detox center. Mm -hmm. Detox is when you are giving up something. Like um, if, oh, I know if someone I, drinks too much alcohol. Yeah, they have to go to a place and without anything. Correct, and they have to give it up. So imagine places for people to not use their phone for a week. And at first, these people for the first few days, they feel scared and they feel their life has had no purpose for the first few days. Mm -hmm. Then by about day four, they get a little sense of freedom. And then by day seven, they feel completely free without their phone. And it makes them think, why do I use this phone so much? Mm -hmm. There's some really interesting studies about this. So. Because before I saw the I have a video that is talking about it. It's in China, and as yeah. you know, uh, in Asia there are many. I don't know how to say it. It's like a gaming club. 
Yeah, yeah. no, I know, yeah. Like Online you gaming. That, yes, like you pay for uh, having a better equipment to in, a, in a room. And then You're talking about internet cafe? Uh, yes, I yeah. So and what, like LOL, League of Legends? Um, yes, like they, yeah. they play things like that. Mm, I know. <laughs> and, then, and then it begins like, um, there is a there is a place like just what you say. Um, um, so many parents send their kids inside. Mm. No, you're to, right. To um, stop the addiction of yeah. playing the games. So they are addicted to online Game. gaming, and they will play those games for up to ten mm. or twelve hours a day. One of my family members, one of my young family members. He's a gamer, mm -hmm. and he will sit up all night. Like, he'll be awake at four o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and he thinks these people are his friends who he plays these online games yes. with. I think the interesting part is um, what your um, family member said the same thing to the people in the video. They said, mm. like, they said, but they are all my friends. Mm. But and then they just keep saying like um like actually they they are a friend for like many years but actually not mm. they just a teammate from the game yeah and then it became like it became very um um terrible because they just think like they are useless without yeah. the game they, yeah they that's think what the I think game that's is exactly the only right. thing of their life the game becomes everything to them. And yeah, you're right. They do have places where they send people to give up online gaming. That's pretty serious when you think about it. Technology and you need a place to go to learn how to not use it too much. Like that's an amazing thing. Like technology is meant to make our lives easier. That, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. But is it, like, is it making it easier? Mm -hmm. We have so many different things to choose from now. It's hard to make a choice. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I mean, I, I have um, a thing called, I won't name it, but I have a thing that I like to watch and it has many different TV shows you pay to use it. There is so is many. This is an M one. Hmm? This is an M one. No. Yeah, it is the N1. <laughs> and what tends to happen, if I just have a movie, all right, so let's say I've got the DVD or whatever, I'll just put it in, I'll sit down, I'll get a cup of tea or whatever, some chips or whatever, and I'll just watch it. When I go on the N thing, I look at all the different things and I keep going, oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And, you just and then an hour's gone by and I, I'm too tired to watch anything. And all I've done is search through all the things. Mm -hmm. So my point is, with technology now, sometimes choice is not a good thing. Like, yeah, a lot of people in certain countries, they don't have choices. But the, their lives are very simple and they all talk to each other and they don't have all this technology. Mm -hmm. But then when we have all this technology mm -hmm. and then we have so many choices, we can go on Instagram, we can go on Facebook, we can do online gaming, we can chat online, we can just, all these different things. It gives us so many choices of how to, um, I personally believe, waste our time but some people think that it's the most meaningful thing that they can do with their life. Like for me, when I was small, my parents... Like, You're still small, but yeah. <laughs> like when I was younger, more younger. Yeah, when I was younger, yes. Um, um, for my birthday present, mm. I can choose it. And then when I went to, to a toy store, it became like so many different toys. Yeah. And it began very hard to choose yeah, one of them. It is. So. Would it have been easier if they just bought one and gave it to you? And one of the funny part is um, the time that I spent because it's like 
So the part that I spend on choosing them mm. is more than the part that I um, build them. Yeah. Finish yeah. There you go. Wow. I think one of the weaknesses of you know some of the technology that we use take mm. for granted is that you know, people who build this technology actually use all the findings in a lot of psychology field, psychology and something like that to lure people into traps. Mm. Like Instagram. One of the reasons why they made it bottomless is because they know people would do this. Mm. They can stop. Mm. So that's why change it to bottomless. Yes. Mm. And they also know that according to study. Based on the biology of human being, we have this unquenchable thirst of being the center of attention. Mm. So that's why Facebook and Instagram have gone viral. Because mm. we want to grab people's attention. That's why we fail to understand that it's more valuable to talk to the person in front of me mm. rather than having a conversation with thousands of people that mm. I don't even know whether mm. they're real or not. But people have this yeah. tendency because we want to be the center of attention. It's, it's in our DNA. Yeah. Mm. It's part of us. So. That's why some people, the, the more people use it, the mm. more alone they feel sometimes. Because mm. it's not based on real human mm. connection. Mm. Yeah, it's based on something that is more like an illusion than something that's real. Absolutely. Yeah. And so it, it is human nature. Everybody, whether they think it or think it consciously or not, everybody kind of wants to be famous. They want to be cousin. Everyone wants to be liked, loved, mm -hmm. and loved. loved and loved and liked. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so, when you have Instagram and it says, "Oh, you have two thousand followers," it's like James said. Okay, you look and you go, oh, "I've got two thousand followers. There must be something really special about me." But is there really, or is there just a lot of really bored people? And does that mean you have a lot of friends? Probably not. And so that's James's point is you can feel lonely having 2,000 followers if you don't have some really good friends that you can talk to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter about your 2,000 followers. If you don't have someone you can call when you have a problem or someone when you really need to talk about something, you're going to feel lonely. It doesn't matter if you po post a picture of you looking lonely or unhappy, then maybe you'll lose a few hundred people because they don't want to see lonely or unhappy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I do agree that everyone wants to be loved, everyone wants to be liked, we all want to feel we are special and technology gives us the illusion that we can do that. But it's not real. So, hmm. actually, there's nothing wrong about that. It's because we are social animals. We rely hmm. on each other to survive. Mm -hmm. Think about how weak we are compared to other animals who can actually mm. survive in the wild by themselves. We can't. We yeah. have to rely on each other to survive. Our ancestors, our ancestors did that in the past. Yeah. So we have this embedded in our DNA. But what modern technology has done for the people is that they, they sometimes they exploit that weakness mm. as a weakness now, mm. and people just lost control. Mm. They are still losing control. Another well, question is like, why if people um they want to be famous but they um they are um they like the people who are famous at the same time like they want to be famous and then okay. they be, and then they yeah. became famous. That's a very good question. And then they like something someone that is more famous. Mm. That is the humor human human obsession yeah. with, and there's a saying, and it, in English the saying is, we always think the grass is greener on the other side. And what that means is let's say you have a house and you have some grass and you look at your neighbor's grass and you go, wow, his grass is much better than mine. Oh, oh, I, I know. So we is always Chinese? think there is something Chinese better. Says, yeah, can I say Chinese? Yeah, you can. It's, oh, there's a similar thing in Chinese. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. And so that's why, okay, we look at famous people and we think, ah, they're rich. Yeah. Everyone likes them. Um, what a great life. Mm -hmm. But then sometimes you'll see documentaries about actors and actresses and that sort of thing. 
and really they have really lonely, unhappy lives. They're very talented at acting. I like a, like a um, uh, actor that, I forgot his name, he became a painter right now to express his own emotion. Um, oh yeah, he the, did, the, I can't think of his the, name. The, the, I, I forgot his name. He acted the Truman Show. Ah, uh, Jim Carrey? Yeah. yeah. He became a painter right now. Yeah. He Jim Carrey had enough of Hollywood. He used to do, he used to be able to have a lot of input into the movies he made and he used to really love the things that he did but then they stopped kind of letting him have creative control like they were telling him like a robot do this be funny do this do that and now he used to be in movies all the time and he's only just returned to Hollywood. Like he's only just made a few very interesting series, which are not mainstream. And by mainstream, it means it's not what Hollywood, like it's not your typical kind of uh, Marvel type movie, like. Popular one. Yeah, it's yeah. not super popular. It's very alternative. Because I saw him like he. And by the way, his paintings are great. You, yes, you, I, I saw you agree? He, he, he draws a um, a voice. Yeah. He, a it it it, it feels. Um, I think the paint is amazing. Yeah, me too. Because the color, the color. Um, yeah, you could really see the emotion in it. And then I think because I saw him begin be um be in the movie and be in like a small character mm. inside the movie. Mm. I think. I think maybe he is trying to. Do you think he is trying to come to make the movie again? We'll wait and see, but. Oh, he's in a new trailer, but you're gonna be surprised of the title of the movie. What? Sonic, as oh. in the video game character. The 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 the, the blue he's the, the blue he's red the egg head doctor. Really? Yes. Yes. Really, I'm not joking. Yes. I, I saw, saw that. that. Wow. I saw that. Well. I'm surprised he's done that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> because I saw that before, and I maybe I, he's run out of money. I don't know. I don't but know that. yeah, that, that's maybe. unusual. Or maybe they've given him a lot of creative control. Yes, like so money. you know he can do what he wants to do, and that's why he's chosen to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But that's interesting. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, I'm making Sonic into reality. It, yeah. it, it is weird. I <laughs> played Sonic the Hedgehog when I was a li- your age or a little bit older. What's that? Uh, the, there's a blue like, alien-like thing. In it goes very fast. He's a hedgehog. Um, I don't know how to translate that into a... Hmm? Like, like, yes, beer. That correct, yeah. Super. Okay, and he rolls up and into a hole to yeah. protect sure. himself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So Jim Carrey, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Because at first I I couldn't realize it is him because mm. at first I was trying to figure out oh, um, the doctor should be fat, mm. and then it became so thin, and then that's the most, that's the biggest um question for me like why why is the why is the doctor begin Mm. but not um, about the actor mm. and just a few minutes later I realized that it is him mm. and then I, I'm i very surprised yeah. for him to take this character yeah because the last movie that you saw him in was Truman mm-hmm. right like a very old yeah. movie I showed him <laughs> the Truman show Truman show is a great show it's a good movie it's a good movie it's a good movie and I like his another movie is uh, I still don't know his the movie the English name is he wearing a green mask. The mask. It's actually called the mask. Okay. Because yeah. in Chinese, I, I don't know the because in the Chinese it's called Mo Yeah, I know. I know what you want to talk about. Yeah. yeah, that's back when Jim Carrey just did whatever Jim Carrey wanted, which was what he was best at. Which you think that a very funny movie? Oh, it's very <laughs> funny. Jim Carrey's amazing. Yeah, that's true. He had a very particular like type of performing. But a lot of the time, really funny people are actually really, really, really smart people. That's why they can be funny. Because they they can see things about the world around us mm-hmm. that a lot of other people don't see. 
And so that's why often, you know, they might get unhappy or depressed because they're really smart. That's why they can be funny and make other people laugh because they understand about other people. Mm -hmm. They're very intelligent. Mm -hmm. They're emotionally very smart. Mm, yes, um, I um, I'm a, like a I like a singer. Actually, he's a rapper, mm. and then he his name is Lil Dicky. Yeah, and then just no, no. a few. You'd be surprised, <laughs> actually. No, yes. <laughs> a few days ago, he just um, post a, a a song mm. on YouTube called The Earth. The mm. I don't know that song, but I know but who you mean. I yeah. think I think you can saw it because before he's a um, he's a um, he's a big um, he he likes to make make songs. Yeah. Like he's a funny guy. Yeah. yeah. And then and then he he go to a a company mm. to make um um how do you say that like uh. The thing that you saw on TV, like, ah, I forgot to say this. Just yeah, how do you say the Hong Kong? Oh, uh, commercial? Oh, okay. Yeah, commercial. Oh, he, wow. He makes okay. commercial. Yeah. Like, he makes many different commercials. Yeah. Like for the MBAs. Yeah, they make a lot of money from commercials. And then... Especially MBA type stuff. Yeah. And then... they play it at the Super Bowl. And yep. then why, why him became a rapper is because one time, um, because he he already loved rap, and then one time in mm. the in the meeting, mm. he chose to use rap too. Ah. So I think that's a kind and of. They realized he was quite good at it. Yes, and then I think um that's a point of creative because they think what the others doesn't think about. Yeah. Okay. And then they are um um they are more willing to do what others um will not do yes. and more creative mm -hmm. yeah no i understand in time mm -hmm. tired <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i'm pretty much done that's <laughs> okay that's okay yeah so should we end it yeah we can end it don't we'll worry there's some good stuff in there yeah i think there's some good stuff in there yeah oh who's gonna end? It's okay, we can do this ending separately. It's okay. Okay. We can treat this like a special episode or something. So yeah. Should we take yeah. a break? You? Yes. You're too young to take a break. I want to. You want you want a wine? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh you want a drink? I want a beer goose. Yeah you can you can go. Have a drink. So you can chop and edit this yeah, pretty I can. easily. I have a like a software, like special software mm. for editing in mm. computer. Do you use Final Cut Pro? No. Too expensive. And I'm not an Apple user, so Final Cut. Ah yes. Final Cut is for Apple. Oh but there's a, there'd have to be a lot of different I, I heard that there's another software that I can actually use called Prime Premiere or something. Mm. No, super, there's a lot. super expensive. How much do you have to pay for per month? Like seven hundred for subscribing. Per month. I can't believe that. He's a very famous rapper wow. right now because he makes many funny, fun rap Yes, songs. he's quite silly. So, yeah. so which song that make you start to... I've rap? only seen him do the commercials, to be honest. But oh, really? Yeah, I haven't listened to his rap. But I will. Now you've said it. I'll I think, have, I'll I think have you a can look. start with the earth because the earth is a very um, okay, the creative earth. song because it collects like... Three, mm. more than 30 singers mm. sound in that um, in that song because that's uh, pretty that's pretty clever.